this arm out. And again, we're trying to be nice, but I gotta get that arm out. So if I'm here, for example, in a crossbody, it doesn't necessarily have to be in a crossbody, but this is for example. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna bring my arm underneath your armpit. That just starts to get that elbow away from your body. I reach back and I block your hip with my right hand because I don't want you to follow. Now I start to walk myself backwards and then using my hip I can start to push this arm away from your body and start to pull it away. See there, that's what I want to get. Okay, here. I reach underneath and I put my four fingers inside. Okay, so I put my four fingers inside the back of that lapel. Okay, keeping my knees up and in, okay, I'm in here nice and tight. You can see I've got my four fingers here inside the back of the lapel. I'm staying in here nice and tight. By the way, stay here, cook them, hold them, okay? Then, to open up that neck, okay? If I just start to reach up here, which is what that, they teach it in the, in the, you know, in the curriculum, but that's fine, you know? But you run the risk of them just defending it here like this, okay? So what I like to do is I straighten out my left leg. I straighten it out, and I drop my hip. Then I'm gonna circle my hand over the top, and then I just come underneath here, putting my fingers in, okay? So my thumb is in, my four fingers are out. I pull my knee up, I switch to the other leg, and as I lower that hip, a lot of pressure. If for whatever reason I'm not getting it, I drop my elbow all the way down to the ground, and then I just start to glare, and I will get it. And that's your choke. Extra little. I remember, see, yeah, because I remember when David took that to you in the dining room of that, that hotel, remember? But don't put your hand out there. It's a little ball. It's, it's a little ball. I remember that. So if I, so, so if I do have this arm, So I'm here like this, her arm's strapped here, okay? I just kind of put both of my hands here on my knee. I pull my knee this way, I push my shoulders that way. Easy. If for whatever reason, I'm not getting it, maybe she's bent her arm, she's wiggled her arm out of it, something like that, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. All I have to do is let go and switch, you know, switch to a regular arm, okay? Alone, okay, I could just go for that spinning choke. I could be here, okay? I could have the knee in the belly. I could put my hand inside here like this, okay? And I could just spin for it, okay? But most of the time for me, if I can, I like to do this, okay? I like to pull them up onto my side, onto their side here like this, see that? Mm -hmm. She's not blocking my arm. I can keep myself in nice and tight and boom, I'll finish it right there nice and tight, okay? And the reason why I like to do that way is because if I don't get it, Okay? Even if she doesn't block, if I don't get it, fine, I'm still on top control. I'll just smash right. her back down. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So that's good. But the spinning joke, for me, I think of it like this. Well, I wanted to do that first one, but she put her hand on my forearm. Now I know I'm not going to get it. So I need to wipe that arm away. So as I drag my arm across, I take it, I, as I drag my knee across, I take her arm with me. Okay? Now I'm putting all my weight onto my right knee so that I can spin. Okay? Now, if I was here like this, and I just started to try to finish, she would move her hips to the right and she would unwind that choke, right? Okay, so if I'm here, I slide my knee across, I pivot, I put my head right here, she starts to unwind that choke, she runs right into my head. Yeah, to make the choke any better, that's what we're talking about. I'm gonna use my last to finish, okay? It's good. Me, you know, I mean, I, I'll, I could just go, okay, well, well, here's how you do this choke. No, but we always and have that to do Yeah, doing. and that, so, <clears throat> Here, because I mean, really, BJJ, it's not just a you know a bunch of random techniques. It's it's you know a whole bunch of techniques strung together to make a strategy. So I may be going for my back choke here like this, okay, trying to get it, trying to get it, and for whatever reason I can't get it, or she starts to drive up into me, okay. Here I can take my hook and I out, don't notice that I'm... okay, and then as I start to flick her off here like this, I lift her up. Almost everybody is going to start to take that opportunity to get out. And then once we're here, and then once we're here like this, okay. 
Now I can just start to go into my clock choke. So see how my left hand is the one that's in front and my right hand is the one that's underneath of her armpit, okay? Again, one's doing the choking, one's maintaining the structure. My right hand underneath is gonna maintain the structure. The way that I do that is I just go here, pull it straight, feel that? Mm -hmm. It's not moving, okay? Now I'm gonna start to slide my armpit to the back of her head here like this and sit my right leg through. You see that? Now I'm gonna start to pull my left elbow in like I'm starting a lawnmower, like this, and that's gonna get the choke. <clears throat> Again, here's my little detail that I think will kind of help you out. If you're here on, on the bottom full quarter, and I'm like this, it's gonna be very hard to hold on to you. It's gonna be very hard for me to, I mean, you're just gonna move, right? So here's what I do. There, okay, that's how I hold on to you, okay? The yeah, other, but I'm not gonna be doing any rolls from here. No. no. Well, and, and, and the <laughs> other thing that this allows me to do is I know I wanna step over this arm mm -hmm. with this foot. So here's the other thing that this allows me to do. <laughs> I knew right? I was, yeah, I could see that now. Yeah, now, I, that right? that. now I got that, okay? Now, <laughs> once I'm here, I can drop it down. I can step over and look at where my arm is. Okay, here, I drop. My right arm is already under. I push her head away. There's my arm bar. Okay, does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, so look here, let's do it one more time. Okay. So if you're in the bottom full quarter, so maybe I was here, okay? Maybe I was here in this position. So I walk around the corner and I go plunk, and then I go here, and then I go here, right? I've got my right hand through and I'm grabbing a hold of her cup here like this, okay? Then from here, I step, I drop my inside shoulder, which is my right shoulder, here like this. What carries you over is my heel, here. I push on the head, done, arm bar, okay? Go ahead and get down your bottom full part. So he's here, like so, okay? In this position, right? I'm gonna reach it underneath here and I'm gonna grab a hold of this lapel, okay? Right. What I need to do is I need to drop you into the hole, okay? okay. I need to create a little hole to drop you into. So basically what I'm gonna do once I get inside here is I'm going to drop you into this little hole. Plunk, right? Okay? And how'd you move your back foot to do that? I'll show you here. Look here like this, okay? So, when I'm here like this, okay, I like to block off a path, okay, and then I just create a little space. Boom. See how my knee comes in right here like that? Okay, right? My arm is already inside here like this, and now I can step, okay? So watch this here again. Okay, I'm here, okay? Watch, I'll slide my right leg back. And I'm gonna run her right into my shin. Okay? Okay? So I'm here. I slide my right leg back. And I run her right into my shin. Okay? So that to me is kind of like the breaking down of. But that's the, to me, to, to show it that way, it, you get an understanding of what it is that you're trying to do. Okay? So now if I was here like this, okay, I can go here, okay? I get here like this, I go here, there. See how she's into my lap now, okay? Now I can pull her back, push on her head, and throw that leg over. Do you see what I mean? Uh-huh. Okay. Specific arm bar when your opponent is very specifically, you know, doing a certain thing to try to defend. So. If I'm kind of lifting up and stacking you, that's when I can come under. Okay? So go ahead and lean on your back really quick. Okay? Just go for your regular arm bar. Okay, here. So, okay, if I'm here like this, you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get that spin. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to start to stack you. Now bring this hand all the way across. There you go. Now come under. And there you go. <laughs> and, and you can finish it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, sometimes, you know, like you, you can even finish it on your knees. But it doesn't matter. I mean, that's fine, right? So, like, if I'm here, 
and I went for my regular arm bar. Here like this, my, my partner, she starts to stack me up. I just need to reach underneath and then come all the way through. Look, see what I say? Sometimes you can end up right here on your knees. Hey, That's you fine. Yeah. <laughs> They're carefully enough. Or I can just lay down, you know. But you see what I mean? Yeah. So it's just about, the key to this is uh, get on your shores. If your back is on the mat, you're going to be swimming with an anchor. you got to get your, sh it's just up on your shoulders. Here, like this. You start to go here like this, and then you start to try to spin underneath, and it's not going to happen. So, think about this, okay? When I'm getting here, and I'm going for my arm bar, and I'm getting stacked, don't let yourself get accordion here like this. So how do I stop that? I raise up onto my shoulders, right? right. Well, now that I've raised up onto my shoulders, I can spin underneath to start to go for that arm. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. And where's your favorite spot? The mat, and you're staying up on top of your shoulders. And why? So you can swing so your hips. So you hips. can swing and the other yeah. person can't block it because right. your hips like so, one above do, 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 that, do that one more time, but close your eyes. <laughs> close my eyes? Yeah, because I want to do this to you. Because that's the thing, you know, like if you're, if you're down on your back. I can just watch the video. If I watch the video, my eyes will be open. Oh, I have the video at home, don't I? I have that video at home. I so, oh, yeah. that's where it is. I was looking for it on the shelf the other Sorry. day. Sorry. So very basically, like if I'm going for this arm bar here, and I pivot, and I get here like this, and she starts to stack. Look at my hips. You see how I've gotten my hips up off the mat? Right. And so it's just my shoulders. Now she does have the ability to start to pull this arm out. As she pulls that arm out, I'm just going to drop my knee down here, putting my foot to the back of her head, and then I'll bring my Oh, that's ear. sweet. Now I can finish the arm. I don't like the way you're smiling when you watch that, you know. <laughs> Yep, feet on my hips. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, on my bicep. This is all about bringing your head back, your hips in and your head back. That's, uh -huh. that's all about. Right. Okay. Or this one. Like See, I, my feet that one's all done now. No, that was all done. These are the few holes I, out I have against them. <laughs> I call this one, this one too. You should in. close your eyes while you're filming that. <laughs> She's grabbing a hole here, because this is very common, right? I call this one shaking out the rug. You just reach out and you grab a hold here like this. So she's got a hold of my sleeve here. I'll just grab a hold of the sleeve here like this. Then I'm going to reach underneath and I'm going to grab a hold here like this. And then I just... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. You're all done now. You're all that's done. Very, that's also very good. That's also very good. Can, can but, but, do, the, do the other one. Yeah. No, no. But look here. I want, I want to have my back Shaking to the Shaking out the rug. <laughs> so come here. Put your, put your books in. <laughs> So if I, I should have here, emailed you before you came, but no, sorry. I didn't. <laughs> okay, so here, okay, if I've got my hooks in, there's a couple ways that I like to do this. If she's got a deep underhook, okay, there, I'm going to whiz her, meaning I bring my arm underneath, and I grab a hold of her gi, here like this. Right. Okay, then this arm, she's more than likely going to be over the top with it, here like this. Okay, so I need to reach, see my right hand? Yes, uh-huh. I need to reach and grab a hold of that same side pant leg right here, okay? Now, once I get here like this, I slide my leg back, and then I just lift up. Spins her around, okay? If, for whatever reason, okay, I can't get my deep underhook like that, okay, we'll go to the other side. So, like, if, yeah, so she's in here buried in here nice and deep or whatever, and I can't get my wizard, I'll just reach up and I'll grab a hold of her gi here like this. Then I'll just reach through and grab a hold of her pant leg here like this, or her ankle. I'll slide my leg back here. Wow. Awesome. Awesome move. Those are very good. It's a keeper. Zzz, erase. Zzz. Oh, yeah, we did look at this one. I don't remember. I don't remember it. You don't remember? We were looking at this one. Or one of the ones we were working on, we had to reach through and grab the leg. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yes, I remember now. It was yeah, a, it actually may not have been a pad. It was one of the... It was like the Advanced leg grab sweep or some funky thing. I tried to stay in the first three. So this is a this is a counter to scissor sweep, it says. Yeah, and, and basically what you're doing is you're just smashing that leg down, and then you're just going to put all your weight with your shoulder on top of that leg that you control, and just tippy toe your way around. Yeah. So, so you're going around. I you take to go around the front on this one, okay? Because I'm here like this, right? So, so I'll come here. See that? So I mean, if her if her leg comes across here like this. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to grab a hold, and then look, I can put my 
my shoulder on it, and then I can walk and get my control. This one. See, the, and, and, you, know, you know how in a lot of like pushing the knee down passes and stuff like that, we back step, you know? Back, back, back. Yes. Well, you can't back step with this one because your arms, you know, kind of caught up in right. it. Right, that's what I was wondering. So, like, from yeah, here you yeah so, she comes, so she comes across here like this, and I go here like this. I can't back step now unless I want to, you know. I was going to say, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Rip my own arm up. So I, so I keep my pressure here, and I just tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. Uh, it's pretty basic, pretty basic path to the Lord Bart Bass. Um, Do you do that? Here, can can you, you do that one more time from the <laughs> beginning? Yeah. Let's drill. We just made a drill. Let's write it for the book. Write it for the yeah. book. <laughs> Let's write that one down. Let's start it from here. And that's the, th you know, the thing to this, okay? The way that I, well, I kind of work this one. Go ahead and put your, your foot over the knees to the back of the neck. See, here. And you're driving. See, the key to like a good side mount, heel to the belly, knee to the back of the neck, and driving your hips into my shoulders. I mean, you, this is a perfect you know, side mount, okay? So once I'm here like this, I grab a hold here, and I drop my elbow to the inside. And then I start to back my hips away. You mm -hmm. see that? And I pull my top knee up and in. See, and I think I'm always trying to fight my body to get in there versus what you just That's did. right. Those Back pieces. your hips. We don't try to move them. Yeah. Move yourself. Mm -hmm. And now that you're here like this, all you're gonna have to, all you're gonna do is start to lift up on your leg. Okay. Now look at here. Here I'm backing. Look at where my head is. I come right here, right into my guard pass. Sure. Um, he, he was talking about me. Oh, yes. you had your top one. Mean? No, um, no, top, uh, See, top, top hand. hand. Yeah, oh, top, top hand. hand. Well, then I'll just have to do a, a, a reverse triangle. Okay. So once she gets here like this, okay, my heel, I'm just going to make sure that I slide it up deep underneath of her arm here, like that. Okay? Now I'm going to reach behind the back of He's going to pull me back. I can tell you that. He's going to pull me this way. I'm going to pull her back. <laughs> Drop her into the hole, lock her up here. Because sometimes she what likes to do that to me. Do you, you want to see it one more time? Yes, please. Yeah. Look at here. Okay. We're both wearing blue geese. That makes it kind of difficult. <laughs> but that's fine. fine. I knew the pink top. So if I'm here like this. Sweat resistant top. So okay. Here. With, no matter where I'm at. And she brings her bottom arm. Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, no, you're saying we, top We did top. Arm. We can do bottom too. Either way. Okay. So if she takes her top arm here and she starts to lace it underneath. I need to slide my heel up underneath of just her like, arm. Just like, you do. just like I do with the other one. Okay. Right. Then from here, I'm just going to come here, and I'm going to grab, and I'm, I'm now flicking my, my left foot in, and I'm going to roll here, like this. Once I get her here, okay, all I have to do is just lock her up and finish. And how about if the bottom hand, same? Bottom, bottom one's easy, even easier. Yeah. If I'm here like this, bottom one, I step over. There's that head one we did. <laughs> okay. So if I go here like this and she brings her bottom one in, then I just step over here like this, right? Boom. This is that one we did last time we were here. And roll. Yes, I remember that one now. Yeah. That one's even easier. Great. Okay. My hips come up and I entangle. This is like some of those Maybe ones we can, did with uh, you. It very well might have. Where we like sat up into them. Yes. If you sat up, behind, you yeah. sat, you did this, and you sat up behind to push the person back yeah. that way. Yeah. Well, there's a whole bunch of them. Like yeah, I can, one. I can go yeah, here these. like this, <laughs> right? And then I can go here right. and take yeah, you over that way, those. or I can go here yeah. and take you back over this way, or I can go here and come to your back. Right. Okay. So it's very similar to this. Okay. It's very similar to those whole setups, but where it comes from in here, you got to see. And if I'm playing my yeah, now you can go ahead and come. If I'm playing here like this, okay, very common, you got a knee up. It's like this one. You know, that's fine, okay? If you want to put a knee up, then I just entangle it here like this, okay? Now that I've entangled it here, I grab a hold of your ankle. Yeah, I got a hold of your sleeve, okay, here, and I'll be nice and gentle, but I just want to push. You know, we struggle with here. that, I don't know why, but now, now I see. Got, it, looks, it looks easy because, now. Because, but. because we thought this was so funky. Sort of like, well, well this now cool? that you're here like this, don't let go of the ankle. That's what everybody does. They let go of the ankle. I got a hold of my ankle here like this. I got a hold of your sleeve. Okay? I'm going to back my knee out, still holding on to your ankle. I roll my knee. Now I let go of your ankle. And I can pass. Okay? So you got to look at it like this. Go ahead and lay down on your back. You got to look at it like this. Somebody wants to pass your guard. So they go here like this. 
okay? So you entangle this leg. Right. Okay, here like that. You got a hold of my... Which doesn't matter which one. Oh, yes, it does. This one. This one here. Okay. Because you want to reach out and grab a hold of my ankle here. This ankle? Yeah. Okay. This one. Back your hips up that way. Yeah. There. Okay? Because now, once you're here like this, okay, all you have to do is drive your knee into me, okay? okay. And hold this so that I can't post. Right. Drive your knee in. Here. Okay? Keep a hold of my ankle. Back this Sling knee out. out. Drop this knee down. See that? Mm-hmm. Okay? So... And, and, and another thing, too, is like a lot of times I get here, and either me, I don't care, okay, put it in the middle, though, okay, uh, on your foot, okay, so you're here like this, right? Yeah, because like, you're, you want to like pass. All right. So I'm here, right? I have to create a little space. So I push, and I create a little space. See that? Then I grab a hold, and boom, here. See what I mean? Oh yeah, so smooth when he does it. <laughs> we were sitting there, we were sitting there with him like this. Felt like I had to play Twister with his leg. We were, like, wait, wait, we were taxing our brain. Which angle or which angle? Well, I'm going back like this. Keep, the keep it going here. This is how you got to be like. Go ahead and lay down. Okay. I want to be so that you can drill this right. Okay. She got your feet posted to the mat. Okay. I'm gonna put my foot right in the middle here like this, and I'm up. Okay. Right. right? So now that you're here like this, okay. Right. I want you to back your hips. That way, there. Now, lace this one through, okay, here, like right. that, okay? Now you're here, okay, back your hips, grab a hold, yep. grab a hold of my sleeve, mm -hmm. okay? Now it's all about driving this knee that way. So at the angle more? Mm hmm You see that, okay? And then you drop it down. Okay, so it's one way to kind of get your foot in, and then it's one way to sweep them. So, right, so if I'm here, you just put your foot up, Okay, here, okay. So now, I want to lace this leg, right? So I back my hips here like this and I lace that leg, okay? But I'm going to sweep you, sweep you that way. Yeah, that's what confused me the first time. Yeah. Right, so I go here, boom, here like this, there. So the leg you lace is the hand you hold. No, I'm here. No. It's no, not. the leg I lace is the heel that I hold. Heel that you hold. And I'm going to take her. That way, because this is the, the one he's going to curve. So that I I see. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then I got this. And I drop, and I fell. Yeah, it's good.